How do you do? So today we're gonna be coming back with another installment, if you will, of Would You Rather. But it's actually gonna be the first one because it's the first one over here on this channel. Like all of the other stuff, all of that kind of things are gonna be moving over here. And as such, the Would You Rathers and all of those also will be moving over here. Except for like the League of Legends specific ones. But anyways, if you're new either to this channel, this video, or how this works, pretty much Would You Rather, you get a question and then you get Would You Rather of one of two options. And then you gotta decide which option would it be that you you'd want to choose and you pretty much kind of do that for a whole bunch of different scenarios and stuff so that's what today's episode is going to be and we're gonna find out this one was kind of already done when I got here basically also if you want to find the game it's just basically type in like would you rather and like either you should be able to find it pretty quickly it's like either IO so there you go if you had to wear one for the rest of your life would you rather wear ugly gloves or an ugly hat Well, here we are about a minute in and I'm already being personally attacked. Um, that one depends a little bit because like I've had this hat. It's like kind of symbolic with me to an extent for people that know me, um, but it's definitely has some wear and tear. So it could technically qualify as an ugly hat because it's beaten up, but it's still just fine. I'd wear this like for another 10 years, right? Or whatever. So I can kind of cheat and that's kind of what we do. That's what I tend to do in these episodes. Like I cheat a little bit. That this could count as one just because of some wear and tear, right? Um, ugly gloves, what is an ugly glove, right? Because if you're wearing ugly gloves, I don't know, what, what ex I guess, what's an example of a pretty glove? Like, you're wearing a glove for a reason, more so than even just like a fashion statement, most likely, right? Like, it's cold, you need your hands to warm up. If they're ugly, but you don't, you're not getting frostbite, I'm pretty sure, like, you and also no one cares, most, well, then again, I guess maybe there are some levels of fashion that have to deal with gloves. I'm going to say hat. I'm gonna say hat, and I'm gonna say ugly could also just mean wear and tear. So that means I could just wear this, and it's fine. Wow, people would rather go with. The, oh wow, that's mess. That's glitchy. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. I fixed it. Uh, that's been an issue for like the past two months that I probably need to fix, but I've been lazy. Um, a lot of people disagreed, and you know what? It's okay to be objectively wrong in life. So okay, 70%. Would you rather? Be male with female features and body parts, or be female with male features and body parts. What? Oh, okay, so I it's covered at the bottom here. Maybe I should probably put that in future episodes. It has, like, the idea behind a question in the bottom section. It's pretty much like a gender swap. So it's pretty much, would you want to be a male in, like, a female's body, or female in a male's body? I think that one's a little bit uh, questionable because, like, I don't know, people like that already exist and have to deal with stuff because of that. So I don't think that's okay for me to weigh in or say anything because, you know what, those people are going through some valid struggles and I am just going to skip this one. Would you rather relive a specific moment or recreate a random moment? Now this one is actually pretty interesting because, like, Reliving a specific moment, it could be like one of the best moments in your opinion, period. And also, it doesn't really classify what exactly a moment is, so it could be like a whole segment that you went through that was great. Like, you woke up one day, and like a chain reaction of stuff happened until that Friday. So you just kind of relive, in your opinion, the best week of your life. While meanwhile, recreating a random moment, you could recreate it. But it's gonna be a random moment. It could also be, you know, one of the best. Like it's like a roulette a little bit. It could be one of the best. It could also be one of the worst, though. So I'd probably go with relive a specific moment. I don't know why actually anyone would do a random one. That was like 50-50. This one's like it will be good. I really gotta fix that. That's not good. Would you rather be blind or be dumb? Now I like sight. I like seeing things. I was a, I was fortunate that you know I had all my senses on my fingers and toes. I've got to enjoy that. So I don't think I'd really want to give that up, especially very easily. Being dumb, I feel like it's something anyone could overcome. Like if you're truly dumb in the terms of like you're ignorant, you don't know, you have no education and stuff, you can you can go to school, you can learn stuff, you can get there eventually. The promised land is within reach, right? You don't have to stay that way forever, if that's the case, right? Heck, I'm in college right now, and I've only just really gotten a grasp on math so it's like it sometimes it might take time but you'll get there um being blind that's kind of permanent while being dumb i feel like you can fix that so i'm gonna go with the being dumb because you can change that i feel and if not i'm gonna cheat and say you can so 
Would you rather always be late or always be unprepared? Story time. So, it's no secret anyone that knows me knows that in terms of Naruto, my favorite character actually is Kakashi. To the point, there was an anime club we had, and I was that was my nickname because I was late like Kakashi was all so often in those meetings. So honestly, I kind of already lived this. This is something I already was. I could just keep being me, basically. And yes, I also had reasons, but look. The point is, this is something I've done. Always being unprepared. I get saying always being unprepared. It doesn't even say what for, right? Like, always being late. It's probably to everything that you could possibly be late, though. And you would be more than 20 minutes late consistently. Unprepared means that you wouldn't have the needs for most activities. I should probably, uh, like, I should probably adjust this at some point in future episodes. Again, there's a little thing down here kind of describing what exactly it means in case you need a little bit of clarity. But anyways, I'm going to go with always being late, because if you're always unprepared, you're unprepared for tests, you're unprepared for interviews, maybe not getting a job, you're unprepared for even, maybe even driving, right? Like, you, you just, you can't do much of anything well. Being late, I don't know. Would you rather uh, be forced to watch a movie you hate over and over again for a week, or be forced to listen to a song that you hate over and over again for a week. I don't know, songs are like three minutes. And if I hate it that much, it's still probably only like three to four minutes. Movies are long. They're like 90 minutes and it's like over and over again after a week. Like, I don't know. I'm definitely going with the song. I don't really got a funny joke for that one. It's just like, this one's just shorter objectively. So I just, there we go. Wow, that's bad. Would you rather live forever or until the end of the universe die right now with no afterlife why would you die with no af like you would basically choose to die right now knowing that there would be no afterlife or you could live forever or until the end of the universe and it doesn't even like mention the afterlife i'm gonna go with i don't know because the thing about the thing about immortality right is that if you if you die or you don't die, but like your friends around you and your family will die because they're not immortal with you. And that sounds like a really actually terrible existence to have immortality. Um, I'd still go with this because what would be the point of dying and there'd be no afterlife? Like, I, I don't see the appeal. If you could rewrite history, would you rather there was no such thing as music or there was no such thing as art? Which music could be a form of art as well, so I mean, you know. Uh, basically, no music or no music, and also other stuff, because everybody got to get got. Um, I'm going to say, just for simplicity, there's no such thing as music. Because if there's no such thing as art, then there's no of the other artistic creative endeavors as well. And the world would probably be very, very dull. I love music, don't get me wrong. I got a saxophone right over there. You can't see it, so that's why I have to motion to it. But, like, trust me, I like music. I really do like music. But, unless we cheat. And we talk about like specifically art as in drawings, because then, well, that still kind of sucks. That's still like either is bad. But since music can count as art, if I got rid of just music, music can kind of segue a loophole over here in the art section, and we're good to go. I kind of I can't I can't be mad at this one actually. I feel I feel people on that one. Dang! If you ran society, would you rather? Have your society focus on culture, art, literature, music, films, etc. Or have your society focus on science? I would maybe make a society focused on science because like, here's the thing about culture, art, literature, music, all that, etc. Those are great, but I feel like people already can do that very well without even the focus being on it, right? Like in, in the world we live in, there's, a, there's great artists, books being written, music, films, etc. Kind of already, right? Like maybe they could be better. Um, in some aspects, like maybe Hollywood does make too many remakes or something like that, sure. But focusing on science and like the, the breakthroughs we can maybe make in science because of that. Also someone that's going into a degree with like mechanical engineering and all that kind of stuff. That one appeals to me more on that end. But not because this one wouldn't be great. It's just this one I'd probably focus that one on. And that's close and I expect that to be close because it should be close. Wait, which superpower would you rather have? Superhuman memory, the ability to retain all information that you learn, or teleportation? Teleportation? For 100, please. I'm thinking teleportation, 
Um, if there's some place, it also kind of depends a little bit, like, how is it like, because you could teleport anywhere. So if you had a friend over in Europe, you could just teleport to them and be like, hey, what's up? I heard you were having some, uh, you just wanted maybe a hug or something. I don't know, whatever. But if that's the case, like, unranged, unlimited teleportation, it's teleportation. Superhuman memory would be very great, though. Because, like, as I mentioned, being in math and stuff, like, it means when you're going over your notes and studying for, like, you know, tests and stuff, you could retain everything that you're reading and doing in, like, the practice problems and on the notes. So when you go to take your test, you could just remember exactly what you need to fill. You would, like, never fail a test or anything like that ever again. Teleportation, I still think is better, but this would be super great. And also something you could kind of hide, right? So if it became, like, an X-Men kind of, like, a uh, uh, kind of a society where they actually hunted people with powers and called them mutants, even though right up the, you know, coast in New York they had people with superpowers and it's just fine uh, yeah this one would be more easier to hide I don't want the teleportation though but this one would be cool if you were a dog would you rather have bad owners or be astray on the streets the mean streets of here hmm I'm gonna be astray on the street bad owners I'd bite somebody and I'd, I'd probably get put down I'm not I, I don't know. I'm I I just I'm tired as it is as a human. This is a lot of stuff. I just am too exhausted to deal with anymore. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I, this is not a good outcome. We have to go with this one. Would you rather eat an apple or eat a pear? Which I actually misread at first as bear, and I was like, why would you eat a bear? Why would you not just <laughs> eat an apple instead? Because to eat a bear, you have to probably fight that bear, and fighting bears aren't good. Let me tell you something real quick here. I don't know if you've played the game Red Dead Redemption 2. I haven't either, actually, but I've been kind of curious so I've watched some people play it. Bears mess you up in that game. And by the way, just if you haven't played that game, they do that in real life too. So you know what? You don't want to mess with the bears. Eat the apple, even though it's a pear. Would you rather prevent World War II or win a life-changing amount of money in the lottery? This is where if I have any fans that are watching at this point that are kind of like, oh, hey, he seems kind of cool, I might lose y'all. Because let me tell you right now, if I could win a life-changing amount of money in the lottery, there are so many things that I would like to do relative, of course, a little bit to myself, but also to some other people that I would love to do. As much as preventing World War II would probably be a good thing in the long run, and I, I don't know, because I don't want to, I don't, I, there's no way to word this really that probably doesn't sound disrespectful, so I'm not even going to try, but I will say, like, for all intents and purposes, the war happened, right, and and we're on the other side of it, and as, as, as unfortunate as it is for all the people that died in that war, and stuff like that, and it really is, it really is, if, you could, if we could prevent that war, that probably would have been, like I said, fantastic, but in the, in the here and now, with that already being a thing that has happened, if I had a life-changing amount of money, there's a couple things I'm fixing with myself, sure, but there's like so many other ideas that I can think about and invest in for other people that I want to do that if I could do something like this with, I would do it like immediately. So yes, I'm sorry, that's maybe greedy, but I'm going with the money because of stuff like that. I have, I have a vision, I have goals and stuff that I want to do. And unfortunately, because maybe you could say the world we live in, the world runs on money. We, we need money to do it. So I, I have to go with that one. Would you rather run fast or jump high? If you run fast enough and then you jump, you could probably get pretty high actually as it is. But if you can only jump high, you can't really run that fast. It also kind of depends on what jumping high is. Like obviously if you have the legs and muscle to jump high, you could probably survive the landing too. So it's not like if you jumped up like 10 stories, you couldn't survive landing the 10 stories. But at the same time, I'm going with the run fast because I do like to run actually. I do like to run. I need to probably run more than I do, but I'm lazy, it's the winter as I call it, winter wait, winter break. Uh, we'll get back to that maybe in the spring. Trying to find a good question to end on. Would you rather win the lottery, live twice as long? We kind of just answered this, lottery. Kind of don't want to be immortal and watch everyone around me die. Would you rather fight in the civil war, fight in the revolutionary war? I don't know about y'all, but I couldn't beat Captain America or Iron Man, but that still would probably be fun to try, so I'm going to fight in the Civil War. That was rude. Skip. 
Okay, you know what? Maybe we'll end on this one. I'm trying to find a good question to end on, and there really aren't that many. <laughs> uh, let's see. Would you rather be forced to watch TV all the time or not watch TV at all? Well, I kind of don't watch TV at all. I kind of watch streams. Streams and YouTube. So, uh, I kind of already lived this life. That's something that's... And Netflix. There we go. So... This would be a probably good one to end on because it has re in, in, in relation to YouTube. Would you rather have 20 million YouTube subscribers or produce a blockbuster action movie? Now, in relation to what I said earlier with the plans and stuff that I have, if I had 20 million YouTube subscribers, that'd probably be a good fan base to get those things done. Between the investment and then between like the clout and the reach I would have, There'd be no way we couldn't accomplish some of those goals, right? Like, I feel like this would be the good one because of the line of work I'm already in. Producing a blockbuster action movie would probably be fun, but it also could be a very bad movie. Like, you know, badly rated, doesn't, you know, make any returns and stuff like that. The investment was bad by Hollywood. I'm in trouble now. I never make it to make a movie again. Uh, this one is, is more stability, right? Like, even with all of YouTube's, like, funky messes and stuff like that, once you hit about, like, that number, you're probably at least kind of stable. So I'm going to go with this one. With the idea that I could reach people with the ideas I got, and especially a lot more easily, because with all that many supporters and stuff, that would actually be great. There'd be other people that I could pull up with me at that point, and it'd be, it'd be fantastic. So with that being said, I'm going with the 20 million subscribers. Let's see. That one does win. That's going to be the end of this episode. It's almost about 20 minutes long as it is. So I'm going to end it there and say thank you so much for watching. In the comment section down below, answer with your own, you know, would you rather questions. Or your answers to these questions, if you will. You can go along as you watch, whatever the case is. But that's all for this video from me. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. It's the actual subscribe button because I don't know what that change was about. But that is how it actually works. You have to actually hit that one or you will miss videos from people if you don't watch like every video they put out. Even if it doesn't really, it's not really, you're not feeling it. It's too bad. So, outro. I don't know which video will be next. We're just going to have to wait and see. So until next time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly.